This segment of the news is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. President Donald Trump signed a new executive order today that bans immigration from six Muslim-majority countries, dropping Iraq from January's previous order and reinstates a temporary blanket ban on all refugees. The new travel ban comes six weeks after Trump's original executive order caused chaos at airports nationwide before it was blocked by federal courts. The new ban, which takes effect March 16th, also explicitly exempts citizens of the six banned countries who are legal U.S. permanent residents or have valid visas to enter the United States, including those whose visas were revoked during the original implementation of the ban. The new measures will block citizens of Syria, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Yemen from obtaining visas for at least 90 days. The order also suspends its admission of refugees into the United States for 120 days. News 46 caught up with the chairman of the Nye County Republican Central Committee, Joe Brzezinski, during the Lincoln Day dinner held at Nevada Treasure RV Resort Saturday night. Well, we're really excited to have uh, Niger Ines here today. Uh, Lieutenant Governor is going to be here, our Secretary of State, and a representative from uh, Adam Laxall's office. Awesome. This is all Nye County Republican Central Committee, the Lincoln Day Dinner. It's the Lincoln Day Dinner at Nye County Republican Central Committee, as well as the Prompt Valley Women. We're doing it together this year, first time. Wow. Tell me about that. How did that happen? Okay. Well, Norm, traditionally, the, the Prompt Valley Republican Women have always held the Lincoln Day Dinner. And this year, we wanted to join forces together to unite the party better. And so we're working on it together, and we're really excited. It's working great. We're here at Nevada Treasure RV Resort. It's a beautiful venue. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I, when I first pulled in here, the first time I saw it with the pine tree, or palm trees and the swimming pool and the waterfall, I says, we have to do Lincoln Day Dinner here. The food's pretty good, I hear. I've never eaten here yet, but I understand it's supposed to be the best in town. So we're having some keynote speakers tonight, and this is a fundraiser, isn't it? This is a fundraiser for both the Republican women and the Central Committee to help build our coffers so that we can inform the public about what Republicans are all about. So there's kind of an agenda or a message that you want to send out, uh, of course, to our president. Tell me what that is. The uh, message would be that tonight's event is about the future and the future of Republicans here in Nye County and across the state. You want the president to know that you guys fully support him and um, his administration. Oh, absolutely support it. And we're looking forward to the repeal of Obamacare and replacement and also uh, building the border, strengthening that, take care of immigration problems, and putting America back to work again so we make America great again. So how can people find out more? They can go to our website, which is the easiest way to go, is nigop.org. And you have events um, pretty regularly, like meetings? We have meetings once a month. It's the third Saturday every month at 10 o'clock at our headquarters on 160 here in Pahrump. And then we have different activities going on every month. We have uh, Sometimes we have a sock hop we had last month for Valentine's Day, and we're having an Easter egg roll here for Easter time. Well, they can find out more by just going online. Is there yes. a number to call? Uh, they can call my number at 586-876-0694. And here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, it's being called the trial of the century and it gets underway this week. The leader of Samsung, J.Y. Lee, will be in court facing claims of bribery and embezzlement on Thursday. It's connected to a corruption scandal that shook South Korea and led to the impeachment of the president. Samsung Group denies any wrongdoing. The trial is expected to last three months. Fiat Chrysler has been hit with a discrimination class action lawsuit. The suit alleges the car company had a practice of giving lower performance scores while using photos of older workers. It translated into lower pay and fewer promotions for those employees. Home, Walmart and Wingstop are a couple of companies getting pinched by the delay in tax refunds. A law went into effect in December of 2015. It stops the IRS from issuing refunds until February 15th. According to recent analysis, refunds were lower by 14.7 billion compared to last year. 
Thanks, Angela. Eduardo Aparecida, the number one rider in the professional bull riders world standings, has now won three out of his last four events at the Jacksonville Invitational. He rode the bull smoking gun for 86.25 and berserk for 87.25 points. He took home $37,100. PBR heads to Little Rock, Arkansas next weekend and can be seen on CBSSN on Sunday. Thanks to Judge Margaret Whitaker for this report. And when we return, a freak accident takes the life of twin sisters.